Hi, this is Apple Valley, Minnesota, and it's about 5 p.m. here, Central Standard Time. And we just wanted to show you how busy it is in this city. Every day of the week, um, the COVID, well, there are some restaurant lockdowns and such things kind of going on here. Um, it's not really affecting anybody too much other than the gems and you can't dine in at restaurants anymore. Um, it's strictly um, pickup or delivery. And we're at a Perkins right now waiting to get some food. We just try to get out and get some, some food, you know, a couple times a week um, to try to keep the businesses going and we don't want things to shut down here. But um, it is a really busy, busy city. Um, this street here that I'm showing you is uh, Highway 77, also known as Cedar Avenue, which takes you up to the Mall of America. The Mall of America is about 15 minutes um, south or north of where we live. We're 15 minutes south of where the Mall of America is. And then our airports are up near the Mall of America now too. But this other uh, street here that I'm showing you now is County Road 42, which runs all the way from, from Rosemont down that way, um, all the way down to Shakopee um, from where we live here. And it's kind of like, the only way I can compare it, or thing I can compare it to is, it's kind of like the Las Vegas Strip minus all the themed hotels and neon lights but um there's nothing but restaurants um hotels other businesses shopping malls um there's a native american casino that's not far off of county road 42 mystic lake um and that's open but they're not allowed to really have any kind of uh, shows or anything we usually would take in a few shows each year there and stay overnight and it's a little ways away from home but I have a son who's severely disabled so it's a lot of work to, to take him out and we always figure uh, might as well stay overnight a night or two and enjoy yourselves away from home but um, but again over here look at how busy County Road uh, or, or sorry Highway uh, 77 is it's just like this all the time so but other than the gyms and the restaurants um, with no dining there's not really too much that's closed down here. And the people that live around here, as you can see, they're just gonna get out and they're gonna live their lives anyway. And, and you know, it's pretty hard to enforce things here. Um, people are gonna do what they wanna do. And I support that. I think a lot of what's going on is kind of crazy and doesn't make sense. And, uh, and we're just gonna live our lives in this city, I'll tell you that. 